if you want to generate uh, documents via build butler so uh, and so in bulk <laughs> uh, create invoices for instance or contract uh, renewals whatever uh, any kind of document that you want to uh, generate you might want to take an action on that document maybe send it out for signing send it out for form butler uh, or just send an out an email so that's what we've done here so we have an um, we're going to create invoices let's say for all the accounts i mean it's just an example we have a batch size of 10 means that actually uh, salesforce will split up all of the accounts we have and uh, process them uh, 10 per 10 so uh, it's not one per one or uh, all uh, all accounts in one go actually salesforce will split them up in smaller parts and that's what the batch size says how small should these parts be um, I set 10 here, sometimes 5 is optimal, sometimes 10 is optimal, you just have to uh, test it. But what will happen when all the 10 documents are generated, because the batch size is 10, then uh, one by one the, the actionable will be called. So, And this actionable will define a certain action to take with these documents, and the action here would say auto email. So I'm going to email the uh, email the documents to a certain uh, object uh, or to a certain uh, uh, person that I want to email it to. So in this case, it's going to be myself uh, that I want to send it to. But yeah, anyways, you can, of course, control that completely yourself. Uh, who should be that uh, person that's going to receive the email? Um, if you want to learn more about the auto email, then just go to our academy and on our academy, just filter on uh, on auto email. As you can see, it's right here. And then the entire auto email and all the options will be explained right there. So it works in this exact same way. It's the exact same uh, actionable. Let's take, a, let's take a look. So if I just say I want to run this batch one time, then it will uh, schedule the batch, and then after scheduling the batch, uh, it will uh, run it all the items one by one, and then uh, send them out via email. So yeah, that's it. So that's how easy it is to add actions to a batch when the uh, uh, that that has to take an action on the document. For instance, sending it out per email.